What you are about to see is a trial between two blasters. One blaster is blasting with slag, which presently is the most common abrasive used. The other is blasting with GX GMA garnet. Each blaster has a separate steel plate that has a heavy mill scale. In this demonstration, each blaster has an area of about 25 square feet. Which abrasive is best? We'll let you be the judge. With GX GMA Garnet, it is easy to achieve class SP5 for reasons we'll explain later. Notice the clean surface and how quickly the operator can move the nozzle. Notice the blaster on the right, who is using the GXGMA Garnet, is overblasting quite a bit and could move considerably faster. Again, the blaster on the left is using slag. And the blaster on the right is using GXGMA Garnet. As you can see from the results of the speed trial, the slag blasted approximately an area of 3 by 4 feet, or 12 square feet. And the GX Garnet blasted an area of 6 by 4, or 24 square feet, twice as fast. So what does this difference mean on a tank job that has 20,000 square feet of blasting surface? Using slag, it would take nearly 23 days based on an expected 6 hour per day of actual nozzle blasting time. It would take the GX Garnet user just over 11 days, using the same six hours of actual nozzle time. Well, in just labor alone, let's say each blaster costs the company $75 an hour, times 10 hours a day, times 22 days, labor cost for slag would cost at least $16,500. If we looked at the same labor cost for GX Garnet using the same $75 per hour times 10 hours per day times 11 days, labor cost for GX Garnet would only be $8,250. That means there's an $8,000 savings in labor alone for the company using GX Garnet. Now notice the great contrast between the color of the two surfaces. On the right hand side you can see the clean SP5 white metal class of blast, which is produced by the GX GMA Garnet. On the left, you can see the slag blasted surface. Notice how much darker the color is. Even though the blaster was trying his best to get an SP5, you can also see the shadow where the grid lines were. So it's questionable whether an SP5 can even be achieved when using slag. Notice how clean and consistent the GX Garnet blasted surface is. Very good for feathering. Compared to an uneven, inconsistent edge of slag blast, look how clean the surface is compared to the slag. Now let's look at what's causing the color difference between the two surfaces. What you are seeing here is the surface of the slag blasted plate, looking through an illuminated surface five times magnifier. The black particles are actually slag particles that are embedded onto the surface while blasting. This is a close-up video of a blast nozzle blasting with slag. 
you can actually see the black slag particles penetrating into the surface. Here's a simple diagram that shows what happens when the slag particles hit the surface. A small piece of slag breaks off and embeds itself into the steel. Now, when we look at these slag particles through a powerful microscope, we can clearly see these embedded particles. There are thousands of these particles in every square foot, which you can see are scattered all over as we look closely at this quarter inch plate. Note the cleanliness of the GX garnet blasted surface. This is because the garnet particles bounce off the steel instead of impregnating the surface like slag. The impregnation of the slag into the steel now explains the stark color difference between the blasted surfaces. Now we look at what the impregnated slag does to the adhesion. This is a picture of the slag blasted surface put to the adhesion test and failed. You can see that the dollies popped off of the slag blasted surface in this test. We now test the GX garnet surface. There is strong adhesion with the GX GMA garnet where the glue holding the dolly failed long before the coating would ever come off the surface. This is an excerpt from a report written by A.W. Momber, published in November 2004, which states that there is a significant reduction in adhesion when a slag abrasive is used. For 20 years, facilities worldwide have now been specifying GX GMA garnet for their surface preparation projects. Their decision results in increased coating life, decreased overall painting project timelines by up to 60%, lower overall project costs, greatly reduced dust, which equals a safer working environment, and reduced waste, in a lot of cases up to 80%. What is GX GMA Garnet? It is a natural almondite garnet abrasive which is hard, durable, and abrasive, healthy, free of any heavy metals, silica, and toxic components, safe, meets all occupational health and safety requirements, low dusting, Superior toughness and low friability means that it has extremely low dust. It can also be recycled up to seven times depending on the application. Natural and environmentally friendly material which is 1500 to 2000 million years old. The garnet is the highest standard of mineral purity. Meets stringent requirements of ISO 1126-10-2000E for chloride and free silica content. There are strict sampling and laboratory tests at the GMA World Class Processing Plant. Each hour of production, a sample is tested for purity, size, chlorides, and conductivity.